Earl Lee Terrell disappeared last July. He was last seen near a southeast Atlanta park where he had gone swimming. Six months later, his body was found here in a wooded area off Red Wine Road in East Point. Atlanta police searched the area January 9th and found the badly decomposed remains of two young boys. One body was identified as Christopher Richardson, another missing child. But the second identification took more than a week. The medical examiner scrutinized the facial features of the skeleton, the front teeth, and a bathing suit found with the body. There was nothing to indicate that the body was not Earl Lee Terrell, so the positive ID was made. There are few clues as to who killed Terrell and why. Even the cause of death could not be determined. Police know only that this is the third missing child's body to be found in the same general area. The question is whether that area is a dumping ground for a killer. We have no information to suggest that's the case. We are certainly looking at the fact that we do have the three bodies that were discovered there, and we will be looking at all of our cases in light of the new discoveries, but there's nothing at this point to suggest to us that that is the case. The house where early Terrell lived at 1930 Browns Mill Road is quiet tonight. Earlier, Police Chief George Knapper was here to offer condolences on behalf of the city, and friends are stopping by. But Earl's mother says tonight she mostly just wants to be by herself. Any comments will have to wait until later on. And there are very few answers. Police say they are still no closer to making any arrests in any of the missing children's cases. The total now stands at 13 found dead and three still missing. In southeast Atlanta, Terry Anzer, Action News Tonight.